Deep within the Arctic Circle, where temperatures plummet to bone-chilling extremes and where darkness consumes the landscape for half the year, lies a realm known for its harsh beauty and unforgiving terrain. But amidst the desolate expanse, a silent sentinel stands guard. Nordic response, a multinational exercise showcasing the unyielding spirit of collective defense. Fourteen nations, diverse in language and culture, are woven into a formidable orchestra, playing the singular score of security. Here in this unforgiving crucible, skills are honed with unwavering resolve. American Marines brave biting winds as they navigate treacherous slopes, while Norwegian reconnaissance platoon demonstrates precision land navigation. Marine explosive ordnance technicians tackle the intricate task of breaching frozen fortifications side by side with Swedish medics. This is not just a display of individual prowess, but a testament to the power of unity forged in shared purpose. Imagine Finnish snipers coordinating their movements with German spotters, Norwegian mechanized vehicles seamlessly integrating and maneuvering through the exercise. This is the essence of Nordic response, a battlefield ballet where language barriers dissolve and cultural differences transform into shared strengths. This seamless interoperability, honed through rigorous joint exercises, isn't just an impressive display. It's a critical cornerstone of collective security, ensuring effective response to any threat, regardless of its origin. And the symphony of strength doesn't end there. The roar of armoured vehicles, the mighty CV-90s and Norwegian tanks, echoes across the frozen plains, each a powerful instrument contributing to the unified score of deterrence. At the heart of this complex operation lies the maestro, a synchronised unit of mines, military and civilian, from across continents. Operating in real time, they ensure swift decisions clear communication and shared responsibilities, all focused on strengthening the collective shield against potential threats. Nordic response is more than just an exercise. It's a testament to the unwavering commitment to upholding collective security. Here, amidst the frozen wilderness, the guardians of the High North are forged in the crucible of shared purpose, their individual strengths woven into a tapestry of collective might. They stand ready, a sentinel against adversity, their resolve hardened by the unforgiving environment and their unity unbreakable. As the final echoes of the exercise fade, one question lingers. In the face of future challenges, will the fires of shared purpose continue to burn bright? The answer lies not just in this frozen landscape, but within the hearts of those who stand united. This is the legacy of Nordic response.